at you live from Kevin's Kitchen. We are cooking in Kevin's Kitchen, and today, where's your kitchen? Up in Texas, I like <laughs> Got the generator going, I'm sure y'all can hear it. <laughs> we're gonna do a couple of different things. First thing we're gonna do is a smoked cabbage, and then we're also gonna do, uh, we got some smoked sausage, and then I have some smoked, uh, I'm gonna make some smoked Ooh, pork ribs, and come out good. Gonna use this here. Tony Sackery's. Nice. Gonna be yummy. All right, first thing you do, take some cabbage. I got a little trick I'm gonna show you that I came up with myself. Let's see. So the first thing you wanna do is cut out the core of this enough that you can stick a stick of butter Ooh. down inside there. Really? Get it out, yeah, you can get it out. If I could get it out. There you go. Get over here and see okay. better. So we got us about I'm sure I'm gonna stuff that down in there. Okay, nice. so here's my little trick I was gonna tell you. I made some bacon the other night. You can use basic uh, drippings from your bacon or whatever you want to do. You can put bacon in there if you want to. But here's what I did. I lined my pan the other night because I made bacon sandwiches and then I froze this, but I kept all my grease and all my yumminess off my bacon. So I don't really have to add any bacon fat. I already got it. Awesome. We're gonna put this guy right in the middle, just like that. Bacon fat. Can't bacon go wrong fat. with bacon grease. Okay. We got onion powder. Just cover it. Doesn't matter. Got some good old black pepper. Woohoo! Put some on the inside, on the outside. Uh, That's got our what salt. I'm talking about. Good old coarser, kosher sea salt. Okay. And we got us some good old garlic powder here. So, go like this. And it's all going to kind of. Not melt intermingle. Together, but yeah, intermingle and get <laughs> soft and be all yummy here when it gets done. So, doesn't matter if you put some down on your thing down there, it's all gonna cook together. We're even gonna go on and put some salt down there. Okay? Uh -huh. So, basically, we've got salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. That simple. Now, we're gonna take our stick of butter. It'd probably be a little better if it was room temperature, but I was kind of out of time. So, what I'm gonna do is this right here. We'll cut it in half. I put that down in there. I'm gonna force it down in there. Just like that. See, I did that. Mm. And we're gonna take our other one. Put it right on top. <clears throat> Get it there. Be really interested in what you're doing. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So we got our butter. We got our bacon fat. We'll just take that little piece of cabbage, put it right on top, and hold that butter in there. there you um, go. Got all our spices. Now we're gonna wrap this thing. Uh -huh. Now we're gonna cook it two to four hours. I can already tell this is a big one. It's gonna be more like four hours. This is a big old head of cabbage. So I'll probably check it at three hours. What we're gonna do is put it just like I do my meat. 225 in my smoker. I use a little propane smoker out here. I got mesquite wood chips or mesquite chunks. I have oak chunks. And I have pecan chunks. A lot of times I just do open pecan. Me and Karen found this uh, mesquite tree down the road. Cut some deals off there and I brought it down there just so we'd have it for smoking wood. Okay, so we got it wrapped halfway basically. And we're just gonna go ahead and make sure we wrap this whole thing. Cause we wanna keep all that yumminess on the inside. Kinda steam it, right? Yeah, it's, it's doing all that. It's, kinda doing and all the that. butter's just, it, you know, it just makes it so soft and yummy. So we're just gonna make sure we wrap it. We're trying to remember which is up on top because you want to put it in your smoker like you put that butter in there. You don't want to put it like that where the butter runs out. You want it to all oh, the sit up right. Yeah. yeah. So my smoker's not ready yet. All I did is got it pre-ready. I'm gonna marinate my ribs. I'm gonna put it all in there at the same time. Two to four hours. I guarantee you this is gonna be three or four hours. Good old smoked cabbage. I'll show you what it's like. <laughs> yeah, Kevin's kitchen.